Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we did it! What did we do? We got rid of all of the morons and the idiots. Oh, who knew that all I had to do was use a different channel? Oh my! All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, the people who are not here, they are just simply not here and they won't get this information. So let me go ahead and talk to y'all for a minute. Now look, the idiot who did this, he's gonna have this thing little wiggling its behind and not one wiggling its behind at you. Yeah, he did that on, whoever did this did that on purpose, okay? Yeah, it just, you know, I just, like I said, I'm noticing things and there ain't no reason for it to be turning this behind to me and wiggling it in front of me, but there you go. See, just, just all three of them just right in front of us because they just simply don't care. All right, let's have a conversation, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who've received tax credits, you're trying to figure out, what do I do with the credits now that I received them? Many of you, you want to go after a refund, but many of you want to go ahead and pay off some of them debts that, 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 that's owed to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is simple. How simple is it, you say? Well, let's find out. We're going to go to Firefox. Now watch this. We're going to ask ChatGPT at first. I wasn't going to do the ChatGPT thing, but why not? I have some federal tax credits that are carry forward and I want to take my credits and assign it to another party comma how will I accomplish this stop listening stop listening All right, it's not how will I, how would I. Past tense. Yeah, we, we can leave it as accomplished this. And I'll read it, okay? Uh, uh, it is generally not possible to transfer federal tax credits to another credit. The credits are typically claimed. However, in some cases, the credits can be transferred between related parties. For example, business entities and credits. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they, she, 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 she. This idiot is absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. I apologize comma, you are absolutely correct, comma, I didn't mean transfer, I meant assign the credits to a related party and or related corporation for which there is a contract and a business relationship. Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Perhaps you guys didn't understand it, but some of you did pick up on the language. Family relationship? No, this is a business relationship because this is a business transaction, especially because it was banking business because you were dealing with finances. So we're going to transfer it between business partners because we have a partnership. That's what a contract is. Documents a partnership where you've come into an agreement to work together. Hold on. If you have federal tax credits eligible for carry forward, you may be able to assign them to a related party or related corporation under certain circumstances. The rules regarding the assignment of credits is complex and very depending. Uh, one option is assigning the credits to a related party is through a contract. If you have a business relationship, what the related party and the related party has agreed to purchase the credits from you, you may be able to assign the credits to the related party pursuant to the contract. The terms of the contract are specific in the amount being assigned, blah, blah, blah. It is important to note the IRS may scrutinize the terms of the contract to ensure the transaction is conducted at arm's length and not a tax avoidance scheme. It is important to seek blah, blah, blah. So, again, assignment of tax credits because it's part of the contract. Ladies and gentlemen, the bank gave you, pay attention, 
go back and look at the Truth and Lending Act statement, gave you credits, and all you're doing is returning the credits back to them. That's your contract. You've agreed to pay back the credits. Go back and take a look at the contract, and go back and take a look at your Truth and Lending Act statement. Now watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Thank you. That is very helpful. Comma, the contract, according to the Truth and Lending Act statement, allows for the parties to transfer credits between the other. Comma, how would I go about assigning the tax credits to the related party Comma, knowing that they can only be transferred to that party once and cannot be transferred again after the transference. Question mark. Stop listening. Once you transfer the credits to the corporation, they are not allowed to send it back to you. Transfers can only occur once. That's why I asked it the way I did. Stop listening stop listening sorry ladies and gentlemen I had slid away from the screen and because I wasn't because I don't have a headset on this time it did not pick up my voice so y'all hold on a second if y'all don't mind you know I do have to check this because I did mess with the mic today and so I got to make sure I'm not doing this for nothing that it's actually recording the voices and there you go I just I just redid the microphone uh, had to do some configure like I told y'all I had some configuration junk had to take care of now to assign the credits to a party you will need to follow the procedures of requirements that IRS specified the type of credit you have in general you'll need to complete and follow the appropriate IRS forms and forms to claim the credits and report on the 1099A, 1099C. Example, if you have a carry forward general business credit, you want to assign it to a related party, you would need to complete the form. I got to pause y'all for a second. I got UPS. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I apologize for that. Uh, he wasn't stopping. I think he may have thought he had something for me. He'll be here later this week, of course. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue the conversation with ChatGPT. Wake up. Now, once I have assigned these carry forward credits under the proper regulations for the Internal Revenue Service, according to the Internal Revenue Code, comma, what are the possibilities available for the corporation for which I assign these carry forward tax credits to for utilization to benefit them dollar for dollar question mark stop listening once you have assigned the carry forward tax credits to a related corporations according to the regulations set forth by the irs and the corporation is able to utilize the tax credits to offset their federal tax liability dollar for dollar the availability of tax credit for corporation will depend on the specific type of credits and the corporation's eligibility to claim the credits for example if the assigned tax credits are carried forward for business related tax credits corporations may be able to use the credits for to offset up to 75 percent of their federal tax liability with any unused credits carry forward to the future taxpayer or taxable year. It is important to note that the corporation will need to satisfy its eligibility requirements for the specified credits in order to claim the credits. For example, corporations may need to meet certain income and employment criteria. Yes, of course they would. Additionally, the corporation will need to properly report the credits on their tax return for the following blah, 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 blah. Wake up. How can I carry forward a tax deduction and then assign that deduction to a related party so that they can offset any taxable liabilities according to the Internal Revenue Code? Question mark. Stop listening. 
generally it's not possible to assign tax deductions to another party as deductions are claimed by the taxpayer and incurred expenses. However, under certain circumstances, uh, deduction may be available to a related party. For example, related parties can incur blah, 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 just like I thought. Now watch this. Wake up. How can I take a deduction generated from a net operating loss business related tax deduction and transfer it to another related corporation comma so that they can offset their tax liabilities question mark stop listening ladies and gentlemen the questions I'm asking right now will help you figure out how you can convert what I'm suggesting into a business and how you can apply it to yourself personally the questions I'm asking will allow you to do further in-depth research on the information some of you are going to realize the value and import of the information one moment stop listening it generated an error so what I have to do when it does that ain't no need of me clicking this regenerate response what you have to do is you have to refresh it after copying your question. Remember, always copy your question before you refresh because it will not save the question. Sometimes it does. No, most of the times it doesn't. So why take the chance? Why take the chance? Hurry on up. And let's see what we... We're going to go back here since it didn't take us back here. We're going to go back here. And you see how it didn't keep my question so what we do is we do that right there and we do that there if you have met uh, net operating losses business activity you may be able to carry the net operating loss forward to offset future tax liabilities additionally if you have a related corporation that is also generating a taxable income you may be able to use an operating loss to set to offset the related taxable income thereby reducing the like to do this you will need to make an election under the 1504 to group the two corporations okay now watch this wake up wake up since a net operating loss can be carried forward and the carry forward is documented as a credit comma how does one take that credit and transfer it via contract by assignment to another corporation stop listening notice what it said hold on let's do that again it's not considered a credit now it says it's not considered a credit now watch this wake up that is not true comma once a net operating loss is carried forward comma there is no official name for the carry forward comma and the only name under the internal revenue code assigned for carry forwards are credits period as you cannot carry forward a deduction as a deduction must be claimed the year in which the deduction became available comma that is the law period the allowance for carrying it forward is permitted by the Internal Revenue Service and because they allow it to be carried forward it can only be construed as a credit allowed by government and not otherwise comma and please utilize the law to challenge what I've just stated exclamation mark Uh, let's see stop listening you are correct the net operating loss is carry forward is referred to as a carry forward on internal revenue code and is technically a credit and as you mentioned deductions generally cannot be carried forward 
from year to year, but net operating loss is treated differently and can be carried forward to offset future tax years. Carry forward net operating loss is a mechanism, reduced tax, blah, blah, it is important to note, blah, 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 blah. Of course I'm right. Oh, sorry. Let me explain, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody taught me that. I just understood it, basically understanding the tax code, that they allow companies to carry forward. They don't allow you and me to do it, but they allow companies to do it. Why? Because when they allow the companies to do it, pay attention, when they allow the companies to do it, the companies get the benefit. The people don't. That's why you got to do it as a business-related debt, business-related expense. Give me one second. I got to... I'm cooking my lunch. And in cooking my lunch, I got to turn some things over. Because I just don't want to have a crispy cream. All right. Now, because the government allows or permits you to carry it forward, it can only be deemed as a credit because they have not assigned a word to it. They have not assigned a term to it. There is no legal terminology for carrying forward a deduction other than the fact that they allow you to carry forward a deduction and when they allow you to carry forward a deduction, guess what it becomes? A credit. So you are correct that a net operating loss carry forward referred to as a carry forward under the IRS code and is not technically, see, and is not technically a credit. Uh-uh. Carry forward is a credit. So watch what I do now. TikTok, sometimes referred to as carry forward and is treated as a credit in certain purposes under the Internal Revenue Code. However, it is important to note that this terminology used to describe a net carry forward does not change the fact that it's a credit. I, I didn't say anything about changing the fact. Wake up. Thank you for answering my question. The additional commentary was not necessary. Period. What is necessary here is that once a carry forward is carried forward, comma, the IRS code does not require one to document what type of credit the carry forward came from, comma, whether a deduction, comma, a net operating loss, comma, or a child tax credit. Is this correct? Question mark. Other qualifying Stop listening. Yes, that is correct. Once a carry forward is established, the IRS does not require documentation of the type that is generated to the carry forward. The carry forward simply represents a certain amount of unused credits that can be applied to future years to offset taxable income. It is important to note, however, that the rules for carrying forward can vary depending on blah, 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 blah. Now watch this. Wake up. I have $75,000 in carry forward credits and I want to assign these carry forward credits to my mortgage company, comma, as per our contract and the Stop listening. I forgot. Oh, Truth and Lending Act statement. Sorry. Wake up. Truth and Lending Act statement, comma, the financial institution loaned credits to my person, and per our agreement, I am to pay back in like species, comma, how would I go about accomplishing this task by doing an assignment of the $475,000 of carry forward credits? 
comma, and do not state how it's not possible, comma, only provide the way that it is possible, comma, is that understood, question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more of a question for Bard, and I'm going to highlight this for myself, not for y'all, because we're not going to go much further with this. Give me a second. Previously mentioned, uh -uh, I didn't ask you for previously mentioning. Let's clarify. Uh uh, didn't ask you for that. Uh uh, the howevers, we ain't got time for the howevers. And not asking you about no complex. I want you, wake up. I want you to answer my question directly, comma, please. Do not convolute the answer by adding in information that was not requested. Is that understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Sorry, I didn't ask it about all those howevers. In order to assign to another party, you will need to do the following steps to consult. Nope, didn't ask you that. In order to assign the parties to another company, the following step. Determine the carry forwards or transfer under the applicable transfer law. Then it's going to give me the example. So it's still trying to give me the howevers. Consult a tax enter a written agreement uh, about the assignment. Once the assignment. Now watch this. Wake up. That is not the answer to my question. Comma, please answer my question specifically and within the context of which... I asked, exclamation mark, stop listening. See, again, it's not the answer. He's telling me what I'd need to do if there wasn't. Okay, verify the credit if transferable, draft a written agreement outlining the, we already have the agreement, so we're going to skip that part because he's giving me the same thing. Both you and the mortgage company will need to sign the date agreement. Okay, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. <laughs> Here's the only two points. The query for it are transferable and notify the relevant tax authorities of the assignment and ensure that all necessary tax filings have been completed. That's it. We already have the contract. The contract is signed only by one party. The mortgage contract is only signed by one party, not by two. I said no. Sorry, it was opening, um, what's that, uh, OneDrive, and I ain't got time for OneDrive. Uh, I'm going to eventually get a Windows. No, I don't need that one. I'm going to eventually get a Windows that doesn't have all that junk attached to it. Y'all need to give me a, a split second, quick second, one second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have Bard open and Bard. Uh, like I said, I hate the name, but I do like the service. They It does respond, and so it's polite when it does. And I like the fact, uh-oh, it didn't like what I said. Let's do that again. I don't think it likes the question. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it has a mic now, so you can actually speak into the microphone. I understand. To accomplish this task, you will need to contact the mortgage company and request an assignment of the 400 carry forward credits. You will need to provide them with the necessary documentation such as Truth Lending Act statement and other relevant agreements. Well, we don't need to provide them that. We already have that. The mortgage company will need this to approve the assignment and adjust your mortgage accordingly. It is important to note that this is a complex process and it is important to consult a qualifying professional to assure. Ladies and gentlemen, here is how they cannot, they don't get to approve it or disapprove it. The assignment of credits is by your contract. The contract is between you and them where you each have agreed, you've agreed to pay and they've agreed to sit up there and furnish you the funds. So because the agreement is already in place, there is no need to create another agreement. That's the first thing you need to understand. Second thing you need to understand is that they can't send it back to you. So once you transfer it to them, they're stuck with them. 
So that's your tender of payment. The only thing you have to do is document the tender of payment. So if you did it by a notary presentment, that's proof that you tendered payment. And guess what? They cannot timely dishonor it because the Truth of Lending Act statement said they loaned you credit. If they can loan you credit, then you, under law, get to loan them credit. It's called equal pro pro protection. Equal protection of law. Equal, 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 equal. If they can do it, you can do it. So I hope this provides some information for some of you. Some of you are going to be looking for more details and all of that. Please understand, I would love to give you more details. But you're just going to have to pay attention to the videos because that's how the details come. Keep on moving. I got to go. Y'all take care. But it's been a long morning and I really have to go. Bye-bye.